In this video, we are gonna learn how we can install the TWRP mode on the full Pandora 3. Hey guys, this is Hemant Raj and you are watching tech 2 tricks So without any further ado, let's get started. So, coming to the cool pad note 3, first you need to back up all the data, information, videos, pictures, everything before getting started into the tutorial. Then go to the link in the description and click on them. But how? Scroll down to the running video and you will find a description box. Click on the show more and you will find the links attached of the software or the game. So make sure that you check out this and download it. Once you click on each of the links, you will be redirected to this page, the Google Drive. Click on the download button to download the recovery image and the second thing is the scatter file. We will download this one too. I will be explaining why you need the scatter file in the later video. So yeah, download both of them and place in any of the destination folder. I have already downloaded the scatter files and the image. So along with this you also need to download the drivers uh, if necessary. So I will be giving the link in the description for the drivers too. So let's install the drivers first. So it's a simple setup. You need to just pass it by clicking the next 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 button. So it's taking some time to load. Yeah, click on the next button. So I'll be fast forwarding this because it's a very simple thing. Anybody can do this. Uh, yeah. Let's complete up this quick. So I'm imagining this up right now. It's taking a lot of time. So let's open the second WinRAR that is uh, the zip file of the SP Flash tool. SP Flash tool. Yeah, smartphone flash tool. So yeah, just click on the folder and click on the extract tool and it asks for destination. Click on the extract tool and the destination is the desktop and click on the OK. Let us check which one completes first. The drivers of the WinRAR. The drivers are almost up to the end. But the window is a bit fast in the process of extraction. Yeah, it has completed the process. Here the drivers are to install. Click on the finish button and close this up. So this is the image file, the scatter file which are downloaded from both the links. Yeah. So just copy set this both and copy them into the folder. Of the SP Flash tool, right click and click on the paste button. Yeah, both of them are pasted successfully in this folder. So let's right click on the SP Flash tool and click on run as administrator. Ask for administrator permissions, click on the S button. Yeah, click on the scatter loading right here and it asks for the scatter file. So click on the scatter file of our chipset and click on the open. The scatter file enables which files we need to download to the smartphone. You can see that the only recovery is selected right here because we require only the recovery. Select through the download only method and click on the download button. Next. Yeah, right here, click on the download button. Turn off your device completely and then it should look like this. Yeah, then connect up the USB cable, USB, USB, so yeah, connecting up the USB cable and then double press on the volume up key. Yeah, you can see that a red bar and the yellow bar will be passing through, complete with the flashing. You can see a green tick mark saying that the flashing was successful. So close this up and the very important thing is that don't boot into normal mode. The next thing we are gonna do is to boot into the recovery. So make sure that you stay with patience. 
hold down the volume up key and power key simultaneously and you'll be rebooted into the recovery mode. Right here you can see that the TWRP has been successfully installed. That's it for this video guys. If you like this video then give a thumbs up and share it with your friends. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel. This is Heyman Trial signing up for now and hope to see you in my next one.